Fadek was a large garden oasis around 200 kilometers north of Medina, owned by the Jewish community of Fadek. It was a fertile land known for its water wells and dates, which contributed greatly to the wealth of that region. When the Muslims won the Battle of Khaybar in 7th Hijri, the land of Fadak was given as a bounty to Prophet Muhammad and he had complete control over the fate of this land. On the basis of this authority, the Prophet decided to gift this land to his beloved daughter, Lady Fatima, and it was in her possession during the life of the Prophet. However, unfortunate events transpired immediately after the demise of the Prophet and the first caliph, Abu Bakr, decided to seize this land from Lady Fatima, as it provided enormous political and financial benefit for the caliphate. Lady Fatima approached the caliph to argue for her rights, and argued that the land was a gift given to her by her father, and she already had possession of it during her father's life. However, the caliph ignored this position of hers and told her to produce witnesses for her claim something one doesn't have to do in an Islamic court if they are already in possession of something. Despite this, Lady Fatima brought some witnesses for her claim, namely her husband Imam Ali and Umm Ayman, an early female convert to Islam who was promised heaven by the Prophet. Abu Bakr rejected their testimonies on the grounds that these testimonies can only be accepted if they were from two males or one male and two female witnesses. As Lady Fatima realized that the claim to Fadak as a gift would no longer be entertained by the Caliph, she resorted to argue for its ownership through inheritance that the Prophet had left behind. On that point, the Caliph cited a narration which he heard from the Prophet where he said, we the Prophets do not leave behind inheritance. This narration was a report that no one from amongst the senior companions had ever heard from the Prophet. But for argument's sake, even if it were true, it couldn't be taken as a literal legal statement, rather symbolic of the fact that the most valuable things that Prophets leave behind are not worldly possessions, rather it's their knowledge and guidance. And it is for this reason why all Muslims narrate the famous narration from the Prophet where he says, scholars are the inheritors of the prophets. When Lady Fatima heard the response of Abu Bakr, she responded, It is written in the Book of Allah that you receive your father's inheritance, but I do not. Has the Prophet not said that the right of a person is that his offspring are protected? Unfortunately, none of these arguments moved the Caliph, who was adamant in keeping Fadak in the possession of the Caliphate. And for this reason, Lady Fatima, the leader of the Ladies of Paradise, became so angry and upset with Abu Bakr. She refused to speak with him until she passed away a few months later. What's more, she asked her husband, Imam Ali, to bury her in the darkness of the night without informing Abu Bakr in protest. <laughs>